We can all lose our way with our eating and our exercise. And it's our bodies, our self-esteem and our relationships that suffer. But it's my belief that every Australian woman deserves to feel sexy and healthy, which is why I'm here with my team of experts to help us all get back on track. Welcome to Eat Yourself Sexy. Coming up, a young mum who gives up on every diet she tries. Put a pin in my tummy and I'll explode. She hides her body from her husband. What are you doing? You should have knocked. And has absolutely no idea how much she's eating. Yum, yum, yum. And the damage, it's done. <gasps> There'll be life-changing news. I was in total shock. And a massive stumble. What the hell am I doing this for? Can Sonia stick it out and eat herself sexy? Oh my God. Sonia Sarkis is fed up with her lifelong battle with weight and wants to free herself from fad diets and shakes. This mother of one says the only thing she can finish is what is on her plate. I love my breads and pastas and rice, and so that's my biggest weakness. Pretty much I'd have carbs, breakfast, lunch and dinner. I could eat and eat and eat until I'm absolutely full, where you just put a pin in my tummy and I'll explode. Sonia is just 33. She married her husband, Ray, 10 years ago. When I first saw her, I did run over to my boss and say, I think I found my wife. Because <laughs> daddy's love at first sight. I thought, she seems too sweet. She seems too good of a person. Without even knowing her, she seemed like she had a good heart. So, yeah. <laughs> but since the day they said, I do, Sonia has gained 20 kilograms. For her, it's been a big issue for the last 10 years. She hides her body from me. I'm the shy type. Um, I'm always sort of covering up. People around her as well can see her beauty, but um, it's up to her to see it herself. The weight gain means Sonia has no self-confidence and keeps anything too revealing or sexy stashed well away in the bottom drawer. The last time I wore that, I can probably say it was probably eight, nine years ago. I don't feel sexy or too good about myself quite often. Sonia's tried to lose weight over and over again, diet after diet, but she just can't stick to them. Oh, I've lived on diets. Um, you could call the, the queen of diets. I've tried everything and anything. I get motivated for maybe a week or two and then it just dies. The way I am is it consumes me. Um, that's all I think about every day without fail. I'm just disgusted in the way I, I look, which makes me feel um, not happy. I'm just over it. I'm fed up. I'm tired. I just want to enjoy and live life the way it should be lived. Not just covering up and, and hiding like I have for the last decade. A love of starchy carbs and fatty food has kept Sonia in hiding most of her life. This mum's dwindling energy and self-confidence is in need of a major boost. So I'm going to introduce Sonia to my hand-picked team of experts. Nutritionist and naturopath Emma Sutherland shares my passion for fresh food straight from the source. And trainer Blake Worrell thompson has a holistic approach to fitness. For the next eight weeks, we'll be working together to help Sonia eat herself sexy. It doesn't take long for me to work out that there are some lifelong habits to break here. Of course, Sonia, you're Jordanian, which means you're eating a Mediterranean diet. It's pretty healthy. So where do you think you're going wrong? We cook our rice in a lot of butter. Yeah. Uh, so it's not just boiled rice. Hi! Hello! Everything that I can say, I cook everything that my parents, um, family, friends cook. It's just fat. Did you want coke? Yes, please. My issue with food is too much of it. There's always an occasion. Every time we get together, it's a food festival. It's so good. I've been brought up with food. Yum, yum, yum. Not just a little bit of it, large quantities of it. Mm. So I pretty much live and breathe food. <laughs> And it gets worse. I have also have a love for chocolate. Chocolate is one of my, my weaknesses, uh, especially melted in the microwave. We're talking warm, gooey and sweet. I just can't wait sometimes to get home just to have that fix. And it's not necessarily just a sugar fix, just the taste. I just get happy. 
Sonia is a stay-at-home mum. For hours on end, it's just her and Andreas, while her husband, Ray, works long hours and is always on call. She has a growing collection of gym equipment, and it's all buried under toys. Sonia doesn't just put off exercise, she actually makes plans to avoid it. That's how lazy I am, Sarah. I have some of Andreas's clothes right here. So, so you don't have to go upstairs. So I don't have to go upstairs. This is your wedding day. That's right. You look absolutely amazing. How did you feel back then? Like a princess. Yeah. Uh, I, I really did feel, feel good. Yeah, the hair, the makeup, the gown. An absolute princess that day. When was the last time you felt sexy? Ten years ago. Ten years ago? Yeah. My That's a long time ago. It is. <laughs> We've been married for ten years in a couple of months. And the last time I could say it was on our, on our honeymoon. So Ray, has it affected the intimacy for you both? For Sonia, yes. It's definitely um, holding me back. Um, from from Ray. She still needs to turn off all lights, you know, there still needs to be blankets over us and yeah. Sonia's wardrobe is torturing her. She's buying clothing she knows she'll never wear. Uh -huh. How many of all the clothes here are items that you've bought and haven't actually fitted but you've thought one day I'll fit into them? Pretty much half of my clothes. Half of your clothes? Correct. So you're wearing black because you think it's slimming? Correct. So you're not wearing colour because you're feeling that somehow one day when you get slimmer then you'll be able to wear Correct. colour but right now all you're allowed to wear is black. Correct. My problem is if I don't see results quickly I give up and that's my, my issue. You give up because Correct. you feel that it's too big a task. It's too hard. I just get, yeah, I just too give big. up. I've never completed anything I started. So if Sonia's going to break these lifetime habits and uh -oh. finally commit to losing weight, I need to know if husband Ray is on board. Are you prepared? to help her when she wants to give up. I'll definitely be motivating her and trying to keep her on track and say, listen, you wanted this, you got to do it yourself, so yeah. So tough love? We can do it, tough You can love. do the tough yeah. love? Yeah. I just don't want to just exist anymore because that's what I feel like I'm doing, you know, I want to live, not just exist. And I also want to lose it for my boy. I'm a young person and I don't want him to go through life without, without his mama. Are you worried about that, that you might not be there for Definitely, him? definitely. I had um, gestational diabetes when, when I had him. Does that scare you? It does. I want to lose some weight before I conceive again. Right, so this is another motivator for Correct. you. Correct. I'm not going to accept the way I am, so I've, I've got to get my butt into shape and do it for the sake of my health. So it's time for me to invite nutritionist Emma into Sonia's kitchen. Now what have we got in here? Uh, this is our traditional um, Middle Eastern dish that my mum prepares. It's called uh, minsaf. Uh, it comes with rice uh, over it, uh, with it as well. It just looks like a fatty meal, but it tastes so good. This is the problem, <laughs> Sonia. It tastes good for two seconds. I, know. I understand. And then it's That's straight right. to your hips. That's right. And the list of food sins goes on and on. Pasta, soft drink, white bread and processed cheese and lots of biscuits. Well, this is my pantry. Mm -hmm. um, wow. I have a love for chocolate. Just this much, just that much chocolate. You're going to have to be walking about 75 minutes just to burn it off. So how long does it take you to walk up and down your stairs? 30 seconds, give or take. So to burn off that much chocolate, we need to walk up and down the stairs 144 times. Just to burn that off. 144 times. Up and down the stairs. Up and down. I want you to put the number 144 at the bottom of your stairs. That was overwhelming. That was a little... It's quite shocking, to be honest. Chocolate boosts your body's serotonin. This is the hormone that makes us feel happy. So in order for her to give this up, it's going to be really tough. I'm not going to lie, it's probably going to be a challenge. Um, I'm sure it's going to be difficult. The next step is to get rid of all that starchy food that's weighing Sonia down. Sonia. Now is the big moment. All that food that Emma's been talking through with you, it's going to go in the bin right now. Are you ready for that? Everything today. Today, right? That's right. <laughs> the pasta. My friend. Right there in the bin is an end of an era. I want you to put the lid on it. I'm going to do it. <laughs> Bravo. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Next is a consultation at the Eat Yourself Sexy Clinic. 
where we'll examine Sonia and reveal what her love for food is really doing to her body, what Sonia can't even see. What are you expecting? I guess the truth about where I am uh, health-wise. Do you think it's going to be harsh or um, are you expecting... I'm expecting the worst. But first, I'm going to take Sonia upstairs for a massive reality check. What she's actually taking into the bedroom. I'd like you now to open your eyes. <laughs> wow. God, that's, that's a lot of food. This represents a week's worth of your eating from your food diaries. So that's one week's worth of food. One week? Yeah. I had that much a week? In one week, you consumed 14 cups of buttered rice. There's a lot of white processed flour. You're not feeding your body with nutrition. You're feeding your body with substance. That's right. Okay? Wow. What an eye opener. How does it make you feel to see it all there? One word just came into my head, it was just the word heavy. Because it's mm. just heavy food. Mm. And, and every time I have a meal, that's, that's how I feel. Heavy. It's outrageous. I couldn't see anything healthy, apart from the odd fruit here and there. And there's more uncomfortable and confronting news to come. Hi Sonia, welcome Hi. to the clinic. Thank you. First of all, all I want you to do is just look straight ahead. Mm -hmm. Emma examines right. Sonia's eyes and tongue. Just blink. So there's quite a thick coating and there's cracks in your tongue as well. So your large intestines is really sluggish and I'm not sure how well you're actually absorbing the vitamins and minerals in your food. Okay, so if you could actually drop off your robe for me so I can just have a look and see where you're carrying your weight because okay. that also makes a difference to how easily you can lose it. Okay. At 165 centimetres tall and weighing 111 kilograms, Sonia is 43 kilos heavier than her healthy weight range. Sonia is about to learn she is eating herself to death. Your fat mass is 56% of your body weight. 56? 56%. 56 and I like it to be around 25%, so it's over double okay. where it should be for mm -hmm. optimal health. It's quite a lot. It's mm, quite high. It, it is quite high. Your body mass index, which is a measurement of weight, mm -hmm. is just over 40. That puts you in the highest category for obesity. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I don't know how to react to that. Yeah. That's quite... I mean, obese, I mean, I never thought I'd sort of be... I mean, I know I'm a larger person, but, yeah, yes. that, oh, that word obese is quite... Yeah, that really hit home. It confirms Sonia's worst fears. Morbid obesity brings an increased risk of shorter life expectancy, and she wants to be around for her little boy. But there's more startling results. C-reactive protein is made in the liver. Now, a high reading means there's inflammation and there could be an increased risk of cardiovascular disease. Sonia has a reading of 51.1. That's 10 times the normal range. Now, I know that you want to have a large family. I do. I yeah. do. So, right now, adding a pregnancy on top of your current health situation is probably not the thing that your body really needs. The other thing is where you're actually holding on to your weight is in that high risk area for chronic diseases, mm -hmm. things such as diabetes. And you've already had gestational diabetes when you were pregnant Correct. with your son. Correct. Her eating has not only left her morbidly obese, it's having a devastating effect on her organs and cells. You're 33 years old now? Correct. What the result of your body age is, is that you're actually 59 <gasps> on the inside. It's almost double. That's quite sad. <laughs> Sorry. Sonia has received a massive wake-up call. That was a real shock to the system, um, especially hearing that number 59, that really, that really caved me in. Her goals are to reduce her body fat, lower her inflammation and reduce her body age. What's going through your head? How did I let that happen? And it's just more of disgust in myself, knowing that I've let myself sort of, you know, my internals age so much. For what? For, for food, 
you know, for lack of exercise is it's quite appalling, to be honest. Sonia has battled her weight for most of her 33 years. She's tried dozens of diets but gives up after just a few days. I get motivated for maybe a week or two and then it just dies. She has completely lost confidence in the bedroom. Her husband Ray, who adores her, hasn't seen her naked in 10 years. It takes her over an hour to get ready and then she's still not happy with herself. We go out of here not happy, <laughs> going to a party or a wedding and she's not happy. She is in real trouble. Sonia is 43 kilograms overweight, is morbidly obese, and has a history of gestational diabetes. Sonia really needs the help of the Eat Yourself Sexy team, and we've got just eight weeks to get her back on track. Sonia was shocked when I showed her a week's worth of food on the bed, but now we've got a new food plan for her. I've taken out the unhealthy starchy carbohydrates. Mm -hmm. So the rice, the pasta, it's gone. Another alternative I've got for you is the sourdough bread here. Okay. okay. It actually is a lot easier to digest. Okay. And as far as nutrient content goes, it's far better than white bread. One of the other major focuses I've got for you is a lot of anti-inflammatory foods. Okay. We've got all those vegetables, the fruits. We've also got some fish here, mm -hmm. some beautiful salmon. It's not just what Sonia eats, but when and how much. Sonia needs structure, otherwise she'll just take the easy way out and give up. Levels up. You have five meals throughout the day. These are five small meals. They're all portioned. You need to be weighing your ingredients. Okay. Why I give you five small meals is that it boosts your metabolism. Okay. So it gets your body to burn calories faster. We're really worried about Sonia's liver and this juice is going to help. I really want to see the levels of inflammation in your body come down. That way you're going to lose weight easier. Carrot, celery, apple and ginger. The reason I put carrot in there for you is because it really supports the liver and helps the liver to break down fats. Okay. The celery is a natural diuretic. It helps toxins come out of your body and it also helps to reduce fluid retention. Ginger is a wonderful stimulation of the circulatory system. More blood gets pumped around the body and you're going to have more energy. Well, apple is full of antioxidants, so these are going to help you feel young and fresh and vibrant again. If you have one of those juices every couple of days, your body is going to be so much happier and so much healthier for it. Sonia loves her Mediterranean food, so we've come up with a compromise, some healthy variations take some chopped garlic, mm -hmm. lots of chopped oregano, some lemon juice and some olive oil. These literally will take seven, eight minutes. Red meat can be a part of a balanced diet. Just make sure the fat has been trimmed. The salad will be made up of cabbage and mint. Both are great for digestion, but we aren't finished yet. We're about to dish up a harsh lesson in portion size. Just how much or how little should Sonia really be eating? Sonia, I want you just to serve what you would normally eat. Okay. And mind you, there would be usually rice on the side. What I want you to do now is plate up on this new plate mm -hmm. your lunch. My lunch. Mm. Okay. And where are you going to put your salad? Oh, this isn't for the salad? No. Oh. So tell me about what you notice between the two plates. Uh, most definitely the quantity of meat. Mm -hmm. um, the salad is probably uh, give or take a little bit. This is going to be difficult because I, I love food and I have a passion for food. I'm not taking away your passion for food because I'm passionate about food. Yeah. What I want you to do is to learn to listen to your body as to when it's hungry and when it's not hungry. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of the time, we overeat. Sonia's main concern from the look on her face when she saw that small plate is obviously portions. She's scared of getting hungry. She's used to being so full all the time. She doesn't remember what it's like to be hungry. The foods, that's no problem at all. I guess it's just the size. It's half of what I normally eat, which is gonna be quite difficult. And if Sonia does feel tempted, Every time you even think about chocolate mm -hmm. or any sweets, you're going to stop what you're doing immediately. Put the kettle on, take five deep breaths and make yourself a herbal tea, okay? 
and that's a distraction. That's your distraction method. Okay. So with her portions more than halved, Sonia's diet don'ts include chocolate, processed bread and pasta and white rice. They're all high in starch containing hardly any fibre and are weighing Sonia way down. Sonia's new food plan includes plenty of protein to give the body energy, nuts and fruit and vegetables and smaller portions added up to around 1500 calories a day. Getting in touch with her hunger is one thing but Sonia also has to get moving. I just see so many people wake up at two, you know, three, four in the morning, five, going for runs and it looks so peaceful. You know, it's like the run, but I just don't think I've... I think it's because I've got so much on me, fat-wise, where I can't even contemplate on going for a run. I reckon Eat Yourself Sexy personal trainer Blake Worrell-Thompson knows what Sonia needs. My tip for women that are a little bit bigger is just to get moving. It can be simple as walking. First, Blake wants to see how Sonia copes with the stairs and that target of 144 laps. Okay. I just want you to walk up, straight to the top, and walk down. No breather when you get down here, it's just continuous. Okay. There we go, look at that. Charging up. <laughs> Lovely. No assistance whatsoever. How's that feeling? I can feel it here. Yeah. <laughs> well done. Try and use your arms as much as you can to help you with the power as well. Charging up. <laughs> it's tough going for Sonia, who weighs almost double that of a healthy 30-year-old woman. With each kilo that you drop, you'll find an, a huge amount of difference with this exercise. Oh my God. That's good. Five for ten. Well done. How are you feeling? Bugger. <laughs> Her first goal of ten today was good, but she needs to increase it by three laps each day to hit that target of 144. Next, it's all about testing Sonia's muscle strength. So just do a couple of squats as you would do them normally. And we'll see if there's anything we need to work on. So I'm just on uneven ground. That's good. And so at the moment, you're doing this. Eventually, what we want is you're working through that range. The deeper Sonia can go, the better the workout. And Blake wants her to get as close to the ground as possible. <laughs> All right, now, the next one's a lunge. Eventually, what I want you to be able to do is to get that back knee to touch the ground. Yeah. Tiny bit deeper if you can. Well. Oh. Now, an old boot camp favourite, which you <laughs> might have done, is push-ups. Good. All right, come down onto your knees. We don't want to go too hard, too fast. It's all about knowing limits and knowing what she can safely do. So when your hips go down, that was okay. our line. Now I want your hips to drop even further. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how we do a proper push-up. My thighs feel so weak. I mean, I, just walking, I feel like I'm going to stack it. <laughs> and they, just, they just feel like jelly. So we've got some work to do with both upper, lower and core. Okay. But it gives us a good foundation to build a program okay. from. Okay. But there's no limits when it comes to walking. And we really want just Sonia to do plenty of that. Another little toy we've got is the pedometer, which I want to make sure that you walk 10,000 steps a day with. So something so simple in your stages, in the early stages, of just walking 10,000 steps will make a massive difference and get the metabolic rate running, which is really important. All right? Great. Thank That's you. yours. Cheers. You've just got to break it down week to week. Instead of thinking the next 12 months I want to lose 60 kilos, just go, okay, this week I want to lose one kilo. This week I want to walk another 2,000 steps. You've really got to break down those big goals. Our fitness plan for Sonia includes walking the stairs three times a week, 10,000 steps and lunges, squats and push-ups. Over the next eight weeks, we aim to get Sonia's eating under control, get her moving again and lose up to 10% of her body weight. So it's early days and Sonia confides she's having some problems. I usually cook twice a day um, and it's just hard to, to sort of make my own food and make something different for the boys seeing you know what they usually eat the lasagnas the pastas the rice the curries you know the garlic bread the pizzas um all that beautiful food that i can't touch it is beautiful isn't it look at mommy's plate i'm not tempted because i think i've got that 59 engraved in my mind that looks good but you're jealous yeah <laughs> you're not getting any yeah. <laughs> i must admit it, it did freak me out a bit, but um, now knowing what I know about my insides, it doesn't at all. It's just a wake-up call. But there's plenty of healthy foods that Sonia still doesn't like. 
Tofu tastes like nothing. I would probably even choose probably pet food over my the tofu. I just, I cannot get around how people actually live on tofu. Oh, I just want to ditch the tofu and just jump into the lasagna. <laughs> Sonia's also feeling the side effects of giving up all that sugar and starchy food. I've been experiencing a few headaches. I'm getting them probably every second or third day um, since I've been having this new um, dietary plan. Um, and I think it is, yeah, definitely the, the, the sugar withdrawal and not eating so much gooey stuff. Problem is, as she goes along, Sonia doesn't feel any better. Today has been a, a funny day. Um, I've had a, a few sort of setbacks. I haven't been feeling 100%. I've been um, throwing up. And I thought it was the eating plan. I thought it was my body just detoxing. Um, so I went to the chemist uh, and I just said, is there anything for an upset stomach? What happens next will change everything. Sonia has been fighting a losing battle with her weight and it's affecting her body confidence with husband Ray. Obviously she never wants to believe she's beautiful. She hides her body from me. She's downsized her eating and upped the exercise on the Eat Yourself Sexy plan. But she's been feeling unwell for quite a few days. I think it's just a shock to my body saying, what's all this healthy food? But the real shock comes when Sonia visits the chemist. She suggested to take a home pregnancy test uh, and I thought that was a bit sort of ludicrous because I was still getting my monthlies. Sonia bites the bullet, takes the test and even she can't believe the result. I'm having a baby and it's absolutely great news. It, it's always a blessing regardless of the timing. The timing was a possibly a bit lousy but it's happened. And, and we're grateful and we're thankful and we're happy. Hi. Sonia's not the only one who's delighted. I've got fabulous news. What? Oh, I think that's awesome. I mean, we've always wanted a brother and sister for Andreas sooner or later. With Andreas, um, my son, right towards the end, I inherited gestational diabetes. I can't just think about myself. I've got to think about my little one as well. And I've just got to do whatever I can to make this a good, breezy, healthy pregnancy. With the baby on the way, there'll have to be some changes to the menu plan, but it's still safe for Sonia to stick to her goals of losing body fat. Weight gain during pregnancy varies between women. It's normal to gain 12 to 14 kilograms, and a normal healthy woman should not be losing weight during pregnancy. But in Sonia's case, she's 111 kilos, 43 kilos overweight. Sonia's doctor has told her to lose weight. So slowly and safely dropping the kilos is important for her and the baby. It's completely safe for a woman who is overweight and pregnant to lose weight. But in Sonia's case, it's absolutely imperative. But there'll have to be a few changes because pregnancy lowers the immune system. Some of the foods on Sonia's plan are now off limits. The main ones is going to be the salmon okay, and also soft cheeses such as this one here. My cheese. With the news now, I'm, I'm hoping I could be, you know, one of, what do you call it, a, a yummy mummy. <laughs> um, so I am a mummy, so just put that first word in front, it would be absolutely great. Sonia's got a renewed vigour to lose weight. She's got her amended meal plan and is still striding it out. But just a few days later, her goal to be a yummy mummy suffers a serious setback an old knee injury flares up. I did have a, a bad knee even when I was in school. I mean, believe it or not, I, I was active in school. <laughs> so it's probably just catching up to me now, especially with the weight. It's frustrating for Sonia, and she's got a track record of giving up when it all gets too hard. I, I can't do much, and, and when I can't do much, I get frustrated and I get annoyed and I just, you know, to hell with everything. But we're on to it. My main concern with Sonia is that she does get a little bit demotivated by something going wrong. But it's the same with anyone. Someone goes on holidays, someone injures themselves, they do get a little bit demotivated. So all you need to do is rejig the exercise that they are doing and make sure that they keep getting fitter. The stairs are out, but there's new exercises to keep Sonia burning calories while she's pregnant and recovers from her knee problem. So I look like I'm not doing an exercise, but instead of sitting on that couch where you're, you're flopping, what I want you to do is try and be upright. And that will do a huge amount for strengthening your stomach and your back. So what you want to try and do is have your back muscles as relaxed as possible and just think about squeezing your glutes as tall as you can. You'll get to a certain point probably about there. 
and then it becomes back. It's important to change your exercise routine as you go through your pregnancy. Every woman is different, so it's best to check with your doctor to see what's safe for you. So through your lower back, I just want you to let it down slowly. Good. Now the other thing is when you go up, is you only want to go to a point where you're squeezing your glutes, not your back. Okay. So Sonia, three major exercises now are the walking, okay. the Swiss ball and that posture exercise and the glute strength in ones. Okay, so because I'm not doing the stairs, should I increase my steps? I'd love for you to increase your steps from 10,000 to 15,000 on okay. a daily basis, that would be great. Walking is one of the best exercises you can do when you're pregnant. A good way to know that you're not pushing yourself too hard is if you can still chat away comfortably while you're walking. I've got to use my arms to power walk. <laughs> But all the exercise in the world hasn't stopped Sonia having cravings. Maybe it's the baby, and maybe it's old habits, but she's longing for some favourite fatty foods. This chicken burger has gotten me in a daze. I, I haven't had it, I won't have it, because if I do have it, I'm going to feel like crap. Sonia's in serious need of a diversion. I remember what Emma was saying, if you feel like you're going to, to cark it or, or you want to eat something that you shouldn't, just go switch the kettle on. <laughs> As silly as it may sound, it didn't work. Sonia may be taking on board our distraction advice, but she started to do her own thing with the eating plan. Because it's become routine, it's because I, I, it's become really, really familiar to me. I don't need to refer back and analyse my food plan um, as I did with the first few weeks. So I could have the breakfast and my snack and then I might not have my lunch a bit later on or my dinner a bit later on. Now it mightn't sound like much, but Sonia needs strict structure. One little change today could mean she could be back on all that fatty, starchy food tomorrow. Time for the Eat Yourself Sexy team to step back in again. Hello. Now I don't see your menu plan anywhere. Where, where is it? Upstairs in the computer. I need to see that menu plan on the fridge. Highlighted, ticked off. Okay. Completed. If you start crossing things over or substituting things, it's just not going to work as effectively. Yeah. Sonia knows that if she wants results, she has to follow the plan to the letter. And when she does, she definitely notices a difference. And hey, she's even getting used to eating less. So I never thought that I could ever limit myself to such a small amount of food, which is, which is great because I know I can do it. Uh, and a lot of people have noticed my energy levels and a lot of people have noticed my weight loss. I haven't noticed it as yet but I do feel different and it's a start. But feeling sexy is not just about your weight. I want Sonia to learn to love herself again and I think I need to send this stay-at-home mum who spends so many hours at home without a husband out on a date. Can't recall the last time we actually went out and did something fun because Ray works so many hours. He's more the conservative type, but I'm just this kid at heart. So where do you send a big kid at heart? Well, to the zoo, of course. It'll give Sonia the chance to have fun, to laugh and spend some much needed time with her hard working husband. So we're here at the zoo today, uh -huh. all right? It's a date, yeah. right. and it's all about having fun and discovering your inner child. Okay. It shouldn't be that difficult. Not, not, not for her. Right, okay. <laughs> Ray and I, when we, when we have time together, we absolutely have a ball. We're, we're so opposite and we feed off each other. So it's a good balance between us. Sonia is a very big kid. She still <laughs> wants to believe in Santa Claus. She still wants to have the fun. <laughs> to me, life is to laugh. It's definitely something we've got to do more often. Right. <laughs> what are you laughing for? <laughs> Change the bugger. <laughs> Sonia's Eat Yourself Sexy plan isn't over yet. In the last two weeks, it's back to the pavement. The knee has recovered well. Days of lying on the couch have been swapped for routine exercise, and Sonia's upped her steps to 15,000 a day. Well done! And remember those clothes that were once stacked at the bottom of the stairs so Sonia didn't have to climb them? You want to come upstairs with me? My energy levels um, are amazing. Um, they have escalated. They are, you know, I feel like I'm always on a high. <laughs> Higher? I don't feel heavy. You know, even after a meal, I still don't feel heavy. It's absolutely wonderful. And I, I see it in the results. I, I feel it. And that sort of is a wonderful incentive to keep going.
Sonia is glowing. The pregnancy is going well and she's come such a long way. The woman I met eight weeks ago who was so self-conscious and hated everything in her wardrobe is almost gone. And the new Sonia has the confidence to try something she's always wanted to do, the sexy art of belly dancing. Belly dancing is a great workout. Love the music. It's just full of energy, just the moves. It's so sensual. It's a beautiful piece of dance. So now it's nearing the end of the eight-week Eat Yourself Sexy plan and I want to see how Sonia's getting on with her exercise routine. Remember day one we did what was called a movement. Oh, remember to keep that upper body upright. Sonia's squats have got much Son, deeper. That is looking like 75 degrees. <laughs> how good is that? Woo, that's From awesome. 10 or 15 degrees day one to 75 degrees. So remember when you're trying to get your back knee as deep as possible. Much better. Her lunges are also more intense. So I reckon you're about a, about a two out of 10 with your lunge day one. Uh -huh. I reckon you're about an eight out of 10. Now you're starting to get a full range of motion. All these extra muscles are starting to come into play which probably have never fired before. Five, good. As for those push-ups. The whole body, that's better. That's a good one, six. And rest in, good. So on, from two, to 15. <laughs> three out of three. Thank you. Well done. <laughs> all right, let's get you inside. Oh. Oh, dear. And last of all, the big test, the stairs. They're out while Sonia recovered from her knee problem, but Blake feels they're ready to be tackled again. <laughs> well done. Yes. Day one, 10 laps down. After eight weeks, with knee injury, pregnancy, a stack of hurdles, Knock off 50 laps. That's good. <laughs> it's been a full-on eight weeks for Sonia. When the Eat Yourself Sexy team first met her, she was 43 kilograms overweight and was hiding her body from her husband. At 163 centimetres tall and weighing 111 kilograms, the 33-year-old mum of one was morbidly obese. She was carrying twice as much body fat and at risk of contracting diabetes. Just weeks into our plan, she got the fantastic news that she was pregnant. Sonia got the all clear to keep losing weight. Then an old knee injury came back. There's been plenty of challenges for Sonia and she could have easily given up. And today she finds out if she's eaten herself sexy. Feeling really good today. Uh, a bit out of breath, uh, part of the pregnancy, but feeling really, really optimistic. <laughs> Looking forward to, to hearing what Emma has to say in terms of my results. There's a lot riding on the results of Sonia's eight weeks of healthy living. Hi Sonia, Hi, how are you? Very good, very good. You look fantastic. So first up, Sonia's measurements. I'm going to measure that little waist of yours. Okay. 98 centimetres, you're at 113, you've lost 15 wow. centimetres from around your waist. Really? <laughs> <laughs> that is good. And being pregnant. And being pregnant, Sonia. Wow. Sonia's body age can't really be accurately measured. That's because she's expecting and there's these changes going on in her body. When you're pregnant, you know, your body is, is nurturing a baby and you're also carrying a lot of amniotic fluid. So that is adding a little bit to your body age. Okay. Sonia's inflammation was dangerously high, more than 10 times the acceptable level. It's gone from 50 to 29, but it still has a long way to go. The normal range is from zero to five. So eight weeks ago it was up above 50, which was incredibly high. Wow. This is a marker in your blood that shows me how much strain is on your body and how much stress your body is under because you're carrying too much weight. Okay. It's still too high. You need to keep going. Sonia, your body mass index okay. was 40.92 eight weeks ago. I remember that. Yeah. Now it's 37.8. Oh, that's good. That means Sonia is no longer in the worst category of obesity. Now for the moment of truth, the scales. Sonia, yes? it's 103. 103. 103. <laughs> <laughs> well done. That's eight kilos in eight weeks. That is wonderful. 
Oh, that is great yeah. news. <laughs> but Sonia, we've got three kilos to get you down to okay. that 10%. Okay. And I believe that you can do it. This isn't over now. Like, even though the eight weeks is over, this has just begun because I see and feel a difference mentally, physically. What a wonderful change eight weeks can make to someone's life. Sonia's confidence has blossomed. She's glowing thanks to her results and the beautiful baby she's been nurturing. For the first time in her life, Sonia has stuck with the plan and she's been rewarded. But I want Sonia to really love herself, to get this stay-at-home mum to look in the mirror and like what she sees. I'm looking forward to the makeover because I'm such a girly girl. I love being dressed up. Let's start with her hair. Sonia loves her long hair. Some chocolate highlights will give it a modern lift. I'm quite attached to my hair. I don't know if you call it scissor phobia that I have. Every time I see those scissors, it's like, put them down. <laughs> the length can stay, but taking some of the thickness out of it will make Sonia look fresher and younger. Eyebrows frame the face, and to work out where they should start, follow a straight line from the side of the nose to the inner eye. To make eyes look bigger, concentrate on the outer corners with eyeliner and fake eyelashes to open them up. Meanwhile, Ray is a right bundle of nerves. He's lived the highs and the lows of the past eight weeks and is keen to see the change in his wife. I'm feeling a bit anxious to see what's going on. Is it going to be the same sort of feeling like the wedding day, a big wow? Um, fact day, yeah. Hair and makeup done, now for a new outfit. Oh, Sonia, Sonia, Sonia. <laughs> you look absolutely beautiful. Not only have you improved your health, like, incredibly, mm -hmm. you've also lost eight kilos of weight, okay. and you've been pregnant That's throughout right. all of this. That's right, it's, it's amazing. Are you ready? I certainly am. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Sarah, this is beautiful. The dress. Look at the shoes. You're surprised, aren't yeah. you? That's really me. You've actually acquired a lot of the shape that you had before all of this. That's right. Incredibly so. You've lost 15 centimetres off your waist. I have. Even though you're pregnant. That's right. <laughs> you wear a lot of black. So or grey. A bit more black. Yeah. <laughs> or black. <laughs> this colour really, really suits you, OK? You've got a warm tone. It's lifting it. It's actually really bringing some vibrancy. It's a complete misnomer that black's the only colour that can actually elongate you and make you feel yes. slimmer. Now, the other thing with accessories, they are tricky little things. You use them like little satellites, OK, to draw attention <laughs> away from areas you don't like. That's true. So those wild, wild shoes. I want these shoes. <laughs> I think you should keep those. They're beautiful. I am... So happy. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. You should be very, very, very I proud am. of yourself. I am, I am. Thanks, Sarah. All that's left that I want to see is Ray's reaction Me to too. all of this. <laughs> Me too. I'm sure I'm going to feel and walk towards Ray much more confidently than I normally do. Because I've always got that extra weight, and now that that weight's gone, it's like a wedding day all happening again. <laughs> Hair and makeup, and him not knowing what's going to be revealed. It's going to be a great experience. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, my God. You look absolutely amazing. My heart just missed a beat. <laughs> you look mad. You like? Yeah, you just like, like our wedding day again. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Nice. I like the hair. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. You look very nice. Yeah, well, <laughs> I had to meet your standards. Beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. Beautiful. Oh. <laughs> you believe me now that you're beautiful? Yeah? I want to believe <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Oh! Hey! <laughs> 
<laughs> Ray, you look so happy. I am, because I saw the glimmer in her eyes and she's amazing and she's happy herself. And that already shows me that she was proud to walk through there and not shy and not, you know, she was proud of herself. So I think she's happy with herself. Do you think you're making yourself sexy? I feel good. I feel, I feel beautiful. And sexy. And, and sexy. sexy. <laughs> Ray's generally right about these things. <laughs> and sexy. Thank you. I know you didn't think you could do it, and you did do it. Proved it. I proved myself wrong. <laughs> You've proved yourself wrong. Certainly. You've proved Ray right. <laughs> and you know what? You've been married for 10 years. You've got a new baby on your way. You've got some great times ahead of you. I wish you all the best. Thank you very Thank much. You. We'll go enjoy our new Thanks, wedding sir. night. After eight weeks following the Eat Yourself Sexy plan, Sonia has lost eight kilos, reduced her inflammation by 43%, lost 7.5 kilograms of pure fat and 30 centimetres from her bust, waist, hips and bottom, all while she's expecting a baby. And it's just the beginning. We've started Sonia on a path of being more confident, slimmer, healthier and sexier. I'm happy, really, really happy really happy and it shows it shows and, and it's I used to put on a front to a lot of people there's no denial it's just what you see is what you get now so it's just happiness all, all around Good job. next one next one next one Good boy.